Hello guys, today I'm at Lita Hobby Store Deep House. It's been a while since we've been here and I think it's nice to have a revisit at the store. First thing that you will see is the SD Gundam World Sangoku Soke Student Series. They have, I would say, almost the entire series here. All the different characters, vehicles, it is actually all available here. Now let's go right in, into the store. First shelf, you still have all your old um, Gonna be diverse. You know my feelings about this series kit, so I'm not gonna talk too much about them. So I'm just gonna ignore this power very, very quickly. But over here, the first aisle that you will see right in the center here, this is where you have all your Master Grade Gundam. Quite a lot of stocks that you don't see elsewhere, which I'm gonna get through very, very soon. One example is the Cubely Tree Master Grade and also the normal Cubely. Season 4 and over here, you know, apologies for the store. The store is a bit noisy because there's a lot of kids here. But all the old classic kits are also available here from the Goof R73 3. You don't see that very, very often, right? Nemo and also the old NT1. And if you're wondering, hey, what about the new kits? Yes, it's just right at the bottom. I think they probably should have placed the new kits on top instead of placing it at the bottom. But the new Master Grid NT1 is available here. Plenty of stocks right here and also the new Zako 2 FZ Reborn 1100 series as well. The one that I was really interested in is actually this guy, the 7 Sword Special Coding. It's a bit pricey though because it's a special coding but it's actually available here if you are into this kit, right? Now let's move on to something that you would probably want. At least for me, I have a soft spot for the high resolution model and that is here in this series. So they have the high resolution model Gundam Wing and Wing Gundam Endless Wing, Brabatos, uh, Astra Noir, and even the Red Frame. So, most of the high resolution model kits are all available here. The one thing that you don't see often, and I'm going to get to it right now straight away, is actually this guy. This is the Shinkai 6500 Man Research Submarine. Now, this kit is not a very popular kit, but I do know a lot of you guys are actually looking for this kit. It's made by Bandai a couple of years back, so it's not really that popular, but it's quite a unique key to have because not many people actually collect them. But this one, this is the first time I'm actually seeing this. This is the Chikyu Scientific Deep Sea Drilling Vessel. So this is the one actually accompanying these, um, the Exploring Submarine. There we go. So they actually have it here. Quite a unique find, I would say, in the Lita Hobby Store here right in Deep House. The good thing about the Shinkai 6500 is that they actually have two boxes, one here and another one over there. So come and grab them before it goes out of stock. The UC Hard Graph, there's also four of them here. They have the Ramba Rao Commando set. This actually is a very unique box set. Um, if you guys have seen this box before, you know that it actually comes together. Let me flip the box around. It usually comes with a very big Zaku head. So, Quite a nice um, model kit to have, especially if you love to do those dirty weatherings on your character and the kits. The Aroma set for GBWC entry, that's my recommendation, right? Now this one, this is the Lightning Base. Lightning Base is something that I don't see very often, but nevertheless, Bandai did make this a few years ago. You should put in some um, batteries at the back and it's supposed to line up, so due to the reflective nature of the base, it's supposed to light up your Gunpla figures a bit nicer, I suppose. Maybe I'll get one just to see how it is. They actually have quite a lot of the lightning base here. Okay, now let's go up. So here they actually have quite a few of the high grade series as well. Your silver bread, silver bullet suppressor, sorry, a bit of muffle, and also the Gustav Carl. All the latest high grade kits even the unicorn mode, the next narrative version gold coating is here as well. So if you want perfect grade, guess what? They have it all here. Kaswa Gundam, we've seen this before at, at uh, VCA Gundam, I really like how it looks like. Dendrobium and a lot of master grade as well. So depending on what master grade you are looking for, I think they will probably have something for you here. And this guy, this is the first Gundam master grade I've actually ever built. 
Okay, now let's move on to the end of the store. Oh wait, before I go to the end of the store, what was behind me? So behind me was all the old Star Wars kits by Bandai. You guys know how these guys is selling across the world. I even made a video about this and I think you guys know that this series, I don't think they're selling that well. So I think everywhere you go, you'll probably see offer here and there. And even here as well, they have some offer for these kits, Metadroid and STAP. And even the Wide Wing Starfighter as well is on promo. Pretty good deal, obviously. $95 instead of $223. So let's go on to the end of the store. Now, at the end of the store, you usually have a lot of the older SD kit, the Legend DB, but these are actually all new kits from Bandai. These are all the reissues that Bandai made recently. So if you're into the older um, SD series, Sangoku, Soccer Student series, they're all here. These are all the old series. SDCS, they actually have the full range here as well. So, depending on what you want, you should be able to find something here for you. Pretty nice. Okay. This is the one that I don't actually see that often. I think this is a reissue as well. Looks really nice. Let me put this back. Okay. So, all the um, old SD kits. I'm sure there's something here that will pick your fancy and also the older high grade kits, non grade 1 100 scale kits. And then build fighters. So, in addition to the high grade kits, they also have the full range of 30 minutes mission. Now, this is the first time I actually saw the option weapon. So, I think this is new. This is the option weapon set for the 30 minutes mission. So, there is one and two. Two. Right, and number three is this guy, multi booster unit. Right, uh, of course the 30 minutes mission is meant to be very modular, hence it, it is also very cheap to produce. So your option number, option weapons, everything is here. So if you want to try 30 minutes mission. They have everything here from the mobile suit themselves down to the option weapons and also the option armor system as well. Coming back here before I go into the second shelf, they also have all your Gunpla um, display stands, even the older ones, LBX. Now this one is quite interesting because I know this was released last year but I don't really see a lot of people buying this. It's cheap but yeah, the incremental step for the base is not really that great so maybe I think maybe that's why not a lot of people actually buy that okay moving on to the second shelf they have all the one piece kits from Bandai very interesting Dragon Ball as well very well stocked LBX kits even the figurized mechanics from uh, Dr. Slump is also available here and my favorite the Ultraman series okay so the full Ultraman series is all here. Seven Ace Ultraman One. Uh, the Magnasaurus is also available here. As you can see, Doraemon. Even the full Meta Panic series is here as well. Okay, older Evangelion kids are also here. I've not built the older Evangelion series as well because I uh, haven't heard a lot of good things about the kit. But I do like the look of the kit though. So let's see how that goes. These are the Star Blasters 2202. The box is a lot bigger than I anticipated, and the price is alright, I suppose, for two. I will probably want to buy these kits, the 1 100 scale, once I have the budget. But otherwise, pretty good selection of different variety of kits other than just normal gun plus. You can see here. Now, this one, Figurous Labo. I didn't thought much about this kit, but having seen the actual figure itself, I will say that I'm actually quite tempted, uh, if not for the price. I know the price is a little bit high because of the texture and the material they use for the figure. So it's not actually plastic, but it's actually soft vinyl. So that's something that you might want to check out. The figure's Labo for Mina Hoshino is actually quite interesting. Moving on to the center, if you got young um, sisters in the family, they might be interested in a cupcake, pick me pop surprise. So some other merchandise other than just Gunpla in the store here as well. Alright. Now the latest 
Figura Standard Kamen Rider is now also available. So you have your normal double cyclone, double heat metal. The thing that I was surprised the most was how small the kit is. Right? The box is actually really quite small. But then again, if I compare this to the other kits, it's about the same size, I suppose. Okay? They also have the latest um, Dragon Ball figure as we've seen that before. Figure S bus, which I don't think a lot of people actually bought. And surprisingly, a reissue of the Senseiya figures. So, if you're into the older Senseiya styling of figures, they actually have it here as well. Quite interesting. Figure S Zero was something that I wasn't expecting, but they also have the Figure S Zero of the series of toys also available here for one piece. Now, this is new. This is actually quite interesting. This is the Dragon Ball figures. So in the same vein as the Gundam Universe line, these are actually figures that you can just buy and play with. Right? So this is Vegeta Dragon Star Series. So they have the full range of the Dragon Ball Star Series here. So pick the one you want. I just want to see how... It's, oh, dude, the finishing and the painting is actually not too bad. Very good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. Star Blasters. They also have Star Blasters kit here. Place a little bit far from the other model kits, but they do have it them here. So not too bad. It's actually quite a lot of things to see here in the store. So just adjust your eyes for a moment. I will try to focus here a little bit. This is the Figure Art Zero series of merchandise. Quite interesting. Destiny Gundam, Metal Build, Metal Robot series, Super Saiyan, and even the um, Ultraman and Iron Man Mark 50, all available here as well. So, a little bit of uh, Kerro, Next Each Style kits, and even Ultraman. So, if you have anyone that's a big fan of Ultraman, you guys should definitely come over here. Okay. Moving on to the final L on the right side corner, they have a lot of Ultraman merchandise. So if any one of you are Toku fans, Kamen Rider, Ultraman, they actually have everything here. This is the new Ultraman group, Henshin device, the new Sentai, and even some of the older Ultraman merchandise are available here as well. Very interesting. Some older merchandise such as uh, wreck -It Ralph 2 and these are the things that um, I don't know what you call this Henshin eggs eggs that transform into toys and They're quite fun to play with though if you guys have played it before So some Pokemon Moncole are also available here Pretty good offerings I would say Finally other than Gunpla if you come to the Lita Toy Store they actually also have quite a lot of Tomika cars for you to look around at. Oh, this is quite interesting. I'm sure you like this car. Alright. Quite a lot of offerings for Tamiya cars and also Tomika playsets. Sorry, I didn't mean Tamiya, I mean Tomika. Okay, so Tomika playsets. Plenty of playsets that you can choose from. Over here, they have some of the uh, Bubble Boy and Tomika rescue heroes, rescue teams, on sale as well at 50%, I think that's a pretty good deal. And over here at the end, we have all the new Beyblade series. This is all the new Beyblade line of toys. And they're actually quite popular in Malaysia and other parts of the world. In case you guys didn't know, they also have the uh, global tournament just like GBWC so kids compete and every year they actually fly all of the uh, world champions from every different countries respective countries to actually go and battle it out in one big giant tournament so that's something that a lot of people don't know about uh, Beyblade so over here they actually have some items on offer the um, Big Hero 6 some older stocks Yokai watch as well but let's look at the display outside so what is interesting about the display outside is they actually have quite a lot of new items here it's a bit dark so I'll try to compensate to see if I can right but you actually have all the latest 
Godzilla, right? Gundam Universe, they're all here as well. So even if you're not buying anything, uh, there's actually quite a lot of Gunpla merchandise that has already been built, display for you to check out. On. Yes, sorry to be a little bit noisy because Data is actually located right next to the uh, amusement park. So a lot of young kids screaming here and there. And there it is, the Baba Toss. This is the high resolution model. Very nice looking kit. Planning to get one when I can afford one. But as you can see here, quite a lot of items here on display. You should definitely come and check it out if you are near this area of um, Cyberjaya. The name of this store is actually Lita. It's located right in the Cyberjaya Deep Pulse shopping mall. That's our quick walkthrough of Lita Hobby Central. So if you guys are nearby, do pop by the store. Thanks for watching. Bye.